Hello everybody, what is up? Oh my goodness, I didn't do a sound check, but I think, I hope it's gonna be okay. Wait, <laughs> um, how will I check that the sound is a uh, good volume? How will we know? I changed everything while I was streaming the Sim Summit and they had really strange, um, volume levels on I think I would rather oh my goodness that is not what I wanted to do uh, I think I would rather have uh, too too little of the sound from the game coming through than too much anyway let's go into the game shall we <laughs> so uh, it is like Friday afternoon in the orphanage household that I ha have over here and disclaimer I am doing laundry at the same time so uh, when that beeps I should go um, put the laundry like in the dryer and stuff so we will have a break or I will end the stream um, I don't really know yet, but this might be a short stream. I'm supposed to be packing because we're going to Kolmården tomorrow and uh, I need to pack. <laughs> I also need to do laundry so that I have something to pack. But, oh, and also uh, it is the orphanage time to be played. But we only play the orphanage one day at a time because um, because of the sinking issue. <laughs> we don't want to be ahead with the orphanage because then uh, we can't adopt from there and we can't put uh, children in there. That would be bad. So the issue right now is that I loaded the orphanage, orphanage up um, during the previous stream and what immediately happened was that Sheila that I just put in there she ran away so what we are going to do now is report her missing if Lester is so kind as to move out of the way please because, oh my goodness, the animation. <laughs> help! I just took in a teen and she ran away immediately. Can you try and help find her? Okay, we'll try and find Sheila. But we cannot guarantee results. Yeah, uh, I don't know if there's anything else that we can do. She might just be away until until I move her into college she like she might come back for her birthday in case wait wait what she's oh well that was quick oh <laughs> uh, now I don't have to worry hello oh no she's sad about running away unsuccessfully like she was gone like 15 minutes so that's good that we got her back. She wants to go to college, but she is too young. Um, she has six days left until she ages up. And somewhere is my spreadsheet. Somewhere. There we go. She is 15 years old. When they're 16, they can lock this in. So Brooke here, she, she has locked this in and if she gets an A, she can go when she's 18. But uh, she, she is not on that right now, but I don't, I think we've done her homework. So her grades might improve. Okay. Well, that was a scare, wasn't it? Okay. 
Now she wants to practice a speech. You go do that. Wait. <laughs> oh, these are not. These are just cabinets. They're not mirrors. Okay. Practice speech over here then. I don't know. Oh no! All the children lost grades by missing school today. Oh, right, because I had people over <laughs> to try and adopt them and they, they missed school. Um, yeah, that's kind of unfortunate. But that is just the way it is. I should I shouldn't do that. I should um uh, spawn them over to to whoever is trying to adopt instead. Um Yeah. <laughs> That's what I should do. That way they won't miss school and stuff. Who's whose car is this? Oh, what? Wait. <laughs> She's a pickpocket. All right. Well, you go to work now because apparently you have work. I'll try to keep track of her money. It would be unfortunate if the children lost grades in in the orphanage. Why is Marshall still at school? <laughs> he should get here, shouldn't he? What is happening? Oh, 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 yeah, because he went to school. That's... Uh, because if they get taken away from here, like, where are we gonna put them? <laughs> we'll just spawn them back here, it's fine, but it, it would be strange. Wait, do these have memories of being taken away? Uh, no. Were you taken away? Yes. Were. No, they don't have memories of that. That's interesting. But they do remember Cassandra dying, though. So they might be a bit sad about that. That's a rock. Okay, wait. Oh, wait. She's dying of hunger. We can't have that. We have food right here. Grab a plate. Malcolm Landgrab is over. Yeah, right, because he and Mary Sue uh, took in... Who was it? Like Seth? No. Davis, I think it was. Yes, it was Davis. It, what is wrong with you? Why don't you go eat? You make yourself useful. <laughs> Marshall's grades are improving. Does he want to do his homework, Raytel? I don't think we have any homework on the law. Nope, we don't. But he has homework, but he just wants to be friends with Lisa. Is Lisa here? I thought I saw Lisa before. Lisa Freckles. It's a sim that I put in because I want the my freckled eyes to be in the gene pool. I should see if I can change the genetics of some sims because it, I like if someone, some people have freckles. Maybe he can call her. He wants to be friends with her, which means he can't invite her to, to come over because she won't do that. Oh, he's so sad. Why are you sad right now? Oh, he's sad that um, Sheila ran away. <laughs> but she's back now. You don't have to be sad. It's fine. It would be so funny if you can't hear me at all. <laughs> because I didn't do a sound check. But the, uh, the, the mixer says there is sound. So... Yep, okay, can you go? How are things, Brooke? I haven't seen you around much. Oh, hello, Meadow. It's nice of you to call. 
And also, Darren was looking through his phone book and thought, I should get in touch with Seth. That's his son uh, <laughs> that he lost. And now he, he's moved in with Dirt Dreamer. And there's no room for children over there. Also, there are, they had money troubles be before Darren came and like saved them. So it's all uh, a little bit messy. These boys will unfortunately have to grow up here unless some, someone takes them in. Uh, Lisa. Uh, just talk to her. What is happening over here? And he's talking about ghosts, like supernatural things. What? Where are we? It's like where is it? Paranormal. That seems to work well. So we'll say they they like to t talk about paranormal. I don't know if I need to change topic like that, but I think like if I do that, they will keep talking about it. I think. So now they're friends, and now he wants to invite someone over. So invite whoever you like best. This is Marshall Burb. He is John Burb's son. Maybe, maybe John should try and get his children back. Next time I play him. Because, uh, yeah, why not? Oh my goodness, now she's sleeping. What is happening? Eat this. Because as you can see, there's quite a lot of children in the orphanage and we have little Diana Burb here as well. And um, so the, the city council has actually said that if you can take someone in, you should. So I will think about that when I play different families, but most of the families aren't that well off, so they, they don't really... Oh my goodness, I should try and... She needs to be potty trained. I don't, don't think she will allow Brooke here to do it, because she hardly knows her. Um. Who does she know? No one. Well, Brooke can try. I don't know. What is he trying to? Oh, okay. Can we try and potty train her? I don't think it will work well, but we can try. Oh, no, she will go to work instead. Maybe Sheila can do that after she no doesn't start to death. Well, okay. I think, Diana, it's hard to find an adult that can help you, so you can uh, try and... Um... Wait, can we... Can we hire a, a nanny? We have money. Oh, the phone's busy. Stop that. Just try and eat so you don't die. And, and you, you invite your friend over and then... Like he he will probably invite John, I think. I, I thought I saw What is happening? My house is shaking. <laughs> there is a building, uh, a construction site going on way over there. And like each morning, like about seven o'clock, it goes brrrr. And it sounds like it's in our house, but it's actually them. I don't know what they're doing. It's It feels like they start a machine that goes brrr every morning. But it also feels like they're drilling into bedrock or something. I don't, I don't know. And this is the second time my whole house has, <laughs> has like, it's like someone is nudging my house over. So I hope it doesn't fall over because then uh, the stream will end. That would be unfortunate. You know? Yes. Oh my goodness, he took that hard. 
Poor little Marshall. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're very sad about it. You can talk to her when she gets home. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I think he wants to invite John over. How are they synced? Um, I need to know. Well, they are now... The orphanage is on Friday. And where's John? Where is John in my spreadsheet? It is over there in the news on household and they are over at Sunday. So yeah, you, you can invite him over. Invite household over, why not? And you know, by, by strand, standard procedure, they might don't don't bring the cat. <laughs> that would be weird. They might like take a child in because I think they have room. Mm, but it will not be until Sunday, so someone else might, you know, manage before that. Can we get the mail? No. Nope. Nope. Okay. So, like, the, the benefit of inviting them over here is that they can keep talking to them even when there's not an adoption process going on. But, yeah. I don't know. Hey, Marshall, your friends are here. Greet. Greet everyone. Oh my goodness, she's so big. Britain is... <laughs> oh my goodness, everyone aged up to. Well... Then, let's see. Shelby, the intendant, is now 35. Brooke is 17. Sheila is 16. And so now she can uh, lock her wish to go to college in if, if she has one. Lester is 12, Marshall is 11, uh, Delmar is also 11 because it's their twins. Seth, no, no, Marshall and Delmar is not twins. Delmar and Davis are twins. Seth is six years old now, and Diana is turned four. So, oh my goodness, we, we have new teams coming on. He is at least in gold, but did did he actually get Lisa over here? <laughs> no, all oh, right, okay. So he has wanted to invite someone over and I invited the wrong people over. No, 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 that was Marshall. Oh my goodness, I mixed everything up. Okay, so Marshall <laughs> invited John over, but Lester wants to invite Lisa over because he wants to be bestest friend with her and also now there's so much things happening she likes getting home and she has wait is it just Lester that is growing up in one day because I think I saw something else in my spreadsheet according to my spreadsheet it should be Lester Marshall and Delmar but the game says there's two days left for them that's weird i'm just gonna where's davis davis is on saturday what <laughs> yes what how is this possible and he has two days left on saturday he's 11 on saturday Oh yeah, yeah, that, that is correct. You know what, I'm just gonna do this. Uh, because I've decided, okay, okay, okay. This is my uh, silly little spreadsheet. So, um, there you go. So I have decided, like I have this <laughs> formula that is uh, calculating their how many days they have left until they should age up. 
But if you miss their birthday and they they age up automatically the day after at six o'clock, uh, the game actually gives you an extra day. So, and I think like, but they also get sad that they miss the birthday. So I think that that's fine and you get an extra day. So I'm just gonna add extra days to people, but I'm gonna keep their ages like synced. So the <laughs> it's gonna be fine. The only way, the only time I'm gonna change it is after they go to college. I'm actually I don't know if I'm gonna do that either. I don't know. I'll decide later. But because when they go to college, uh, when they go back, they always have thirty three days. And if they went to college early, I think they should have more days than if they didn't and stuff like that. So yeah, Th there's a lot of things lot to think about and I love thinking about it while I'm out walking so I'll do that later anyway let's uh, not have a big old spreadsheet on the screen <laughs> um, oh no I forgot everything so yeah so Lester is is he the only one oh Diana too is one day did the spreadsheet reflect that diana it says it ha she has two day more days i don't know but the game says <laughs> she's about to age up so you know i don't know maybe maybe i wait a day and just have her age up automatically because then she will gain a day. I think I'll do that. But we, so we have a birthday for Lester. Oh, what happened? Sheila's returned home from work and she earned 105 today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have her deposit a hundred of that into her bank account because she worked for those monies. So she deserves. Oh, <laughs> that's icky. Don, you dog. She has a relationship with Don Lothario, like the groomer. He is, I don't like him. <laughs> uh, also, I have um, mods that make adults being able to have relationship with teens because teens eventually turn 18 and it, it, it's fine and sometimes one of them ages up and one of them doesn't and it doesn't make sense that they lose the relationship and so that's why and sometimes I'm naughty it's just a game I have to remember remember that what is happening who is calling someone over all oh, right I was going to invite Lisa um, and we can invite household like why not have like thousands of people over here <laughs> and we'll just see who comes and who doesn't all right wait how old did i say she was yeah, she's 16 well She wants to invite someone over, and I would assume she invites Dawn over. I hope they don't do anything that he shouldn't be doing with an underage teen. She now has 100 in her bank account. I'll just add that to the spreadsheet. There you go. And we should, oh my goodness, she's so tired. It's fine. Wait, can Lester throw a party? 
Yes, he can, because this is not Sims 4, so he can throw his own birthday party. That's fine. So then he can become a teen. Oh, I shouldn't start it yet, should I? Let's just wait and see if we can become friends with Lisa first. Where is she? There she is. Greet Lisa. Oh, no, greet everyone, actually. What did I do? Greet everyone. Uh, don't throw the party yet. <laughs> I get so stressed when the party is already going on and if they don't age up, the party is bad. Wait, what am I doing? Okay. Everyone wants the phone. I can't invite household. I don't think so. Invite over. Can my friend come over too? Uh, depends on who your friend's friend is. Or you know what? Yes. Okay. If he wants to bring a friend and show Sheila that he, she cannot trust him because that's probably what he will do uh then i don't i don't think that's a bad thing like she will be sad but it's eventually like it's good for her so that's that's what we'll do uh let's hug her and it turned night time talk chat and was it these two that like to talk about paranormal stuff? I don't know. I don't know. She likes... She seems to like what he's talking about. Goodbye, Malcolm. Dance together. Alright. And there's Dawn. Great Dawn. Wait, who was it that went to to school today <laughs> there was someone and they put their homework there oh it's you okay but he doesn't want to make do his homework he does however want to invite someone over again okay well everyone okay yeah while well, you're in the orphanage it's natural if you want to invite people over because then they might like you and they might take your aim so okay that's fine but we are primarily trying to... Oh, right. We should... Oh, goodness. Who can potty train this poor little child? Sheila, are you available to do that? Uh, she's greeting Dawn. So, no. Oh, maybe Lester can do it. But she's going to pee her little pants. Oh, well. Who do you want to invite over? Isn't isn't John already here? Did he go home again? Maybe he invites. Yeah, I think like Jennifer is the one that lost the children, so she will not be allowed. To take them back so John is their best hope invite household when we start the party we will not be able to invite anyone Gavin come over here <laughs> mm, and hug her again oh dear uh, chance card Brooke is sitting in the training corp classroom 202 where she is working on her final exam in buffalo and you buffalo and you wild animals in historic sim military campaigns it's one of her last course requirements before she could become a fully realized member of the corps should she write her essay on elite leadership with elk or should she concentrate on the Great Llama altercation of 56? Well, I think she's gonna go with elk leadership because she wants to like be inspired by leaders, maybe? 
Brooke has always been fascinated by the intellectual prowess of elk, and so she is more than happy to ramble on for pages about these beautiful creatures. But her teacher and the squad leader find something much more interesting in Brooke's articulate description about the demands of leadership. Brooke comes across as both understanding and remarkably firm. Fine qualities in a future officer. Brooke gets an A on her final exam, and she is offered a promotion to recruit, thanks to her intel intelligent answers. Okay, so elk leaderships are apparently good to analyze. <laughs> I don't know. Stop talking because you're not getting anywhere. All right, so now she brought home 100 and a bonus of 200. So she brought home Brooke over here. She brought home 300, which I'm going to put in her bank account, of course. Bank, deposit. Uh, there's no 300, so we need to do two and one. Okay, and then, yeah, try and pull to train that poor child, I guess. Oh, it brought a f home? A home friend with you. A f friend home with you. <laughs> Amar Ngal. What? Nga? Is it Ngal or Ngai? I think it's Ngal. Amar, okay. I'll add him to my spreadsheet because I don't think I have him there. Amar. I have an Amara. And an Amar McClellan. Alright, okay. Amar. And the orphanage is what day up is it? Gonna be two days left, so I'm gonna put two. Two five and what did I say the youngest age for teenagers was? I think 12. So <laughs> so he's 12 in my spreadsheet now. But you know, it's just a, a number in the spreadsheet. We kind of like pretend he's older, but that's just because uh, he's new. So I don't want to, I don't want to instantly like age everyone up. So I, I always put them as young as I can. Uh, you've reached the top of the military career track. Congratulations. That's probably good for you when you want to go to college. Whenever that is. <laughs> she only has a D. Um, I don't know if you're allowed to go to college with a D. I'll have to check later. Like you can go at 18 if you have an A and you B is 19, C is 20, and D would be 21. So yeah, on the last day of your teenage years, you can go if you still have a D. Or maybe you're not allowed. Maybe you are not allowed if you have a D. Maybe I decide that now. <laughs> I keep changing the rules. It's, it's part of the fun for me. Okay. So who invited? I think it was Marshall, right? Greet everyone. Oh, 
So Brooke now has 300 in her bank account. There's so much to add in the spreadsheet. Those are small monies, but like they might add up. Oh dear, Seth isn't doing great in school, but he does want to, to ask for homework help. And like, he doesn't have his own homework, but he could, he could do Marshall's homework with the help of whoever he likes best. Um, maybe it's Sheila can help. Maybe Sheila isn't able to help right now. I don't know why she's so tired. You know, stop that and help Seth with his homework. Okay? Help with homework, Seth. Okay? It's gonna be fine. And Lester, you just achieved this. You'll have a great grow up great, you know? They're so close too, like 46. Okay, stop that. You're not getting any plus signs. 49. Like, if she feels the same way, they're gonna be best friends soon. Please. Alright. Not yet, apparently. Can we entertain? Oh no! <laughs> Something happened over there. <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> Don, he's obsessed with Mary Sue, and that's uh, great because uh, Mary Sue has moved into a house and she expects him to move in with her. So it's good that he shows his Mary Sue over Sheila because, yeah, so uh, Sheila is probably upset right now. Yes, she is. Can she like break up with him? He could. Don't fight him. Go talk to Matt instead. Or, you know, don't do anything. I, I want to see what happens. <laughs> yeah, slap him. That's a good idea. He deserves it. I mean, also... Yeah, he, he he's really not a good man. But, you know, and also I think he's older than he appears right here. I, I added some wrinkles to him, but I think he should have more of them. I don't know. Mary Sue is pretty old. So, yeah. You, you, you talk to um, Matt over here instead, because I think he's a better match, you know. Um, and these are so close. Can you like hug again and entertain joke like quick things? Can we play and tickle and stuff? No, we can do that. Oh, swing me around. That should do it, shouldn't it? There we go. Oh. Oh, uh, it didn't actually do what I thought would it would do. But I'm going to throw that birthday party now. <laughs> and see if we can invite anyone at all. Wait, there's a cheat code, I think. Um, where did I put that? Over here, someone, somewhere, like in config. Wait, I think we need to do this in the neighborhood. Oh, I forgot I had that functionality there. I think you need to do it in neighborhood view, or it won't help. I'm just gonna pop out quickly. Uh, 
And int prop max number visiting sims. Should we have... Yeah, but I... Hmm. They already invited so many people. So I don't know if this is gonna even make an, any difference. I don't know if he's gonna be able to invite anyone. But he can start the party. And then blow out the candles. But he is in gold uh, aspirations. So hopefully that counts for him to have a... a Grow up well, you know. Because now, now he doesn't want to be best friends with her anymore. <laughs> he was so close. I thought that would happen first. Oh, now he did. Okay. Oh, well. Because <laughs> I didn't lock it in because I wanted to have the grow up well want locked in. So, well. Are you talking to this person? Sufficiently? I don't know. There we go. We can <laughs> we can invite two people. So I'm gonna invite Davis and Melinda apparently because that's who he liked best. And we'll buy... I think it's so nice that I can just buy a birthday cake. I cannot be bothered to bake a cake every time in The Sims 4. I think it's horrible the guests are invited so you you hurry up before this aspiration meter decides to not be in gold anymore <laughs> people can just come here oh wait 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 what do we do oh because <laughs> oh oh <laughs> because lester all right so it's the aspiration thingy and we randomize it when they turn teenagers because it's fun because <laughs> they haven't found themselves yet they don't know what they are so we just randomize it and then when they go to college they can have their true aspiration diana is hungry oh my goodness don't get taken away diana you uh, get bottle for Diana. So I think there's like um, six aspirations, if I remember correctly. It was quite some time before since I did this. Oh, that fashion fashion choice. Don't you just love it? <laughs> yes, so we'll start here. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, he likes gray hair and athletics, and but he doesn't like blonde hair. You're blonde. <laughs> All right. One through six, I get a four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Romance aspiration. All right, well. Uh, okay, we can I edge up Michelle or Nicole Thompson. Oh, are they supposed to age up? Um, yes, Michelle actually only has one year left. Wait, no, she does not have that. That was when she was a toddler. My spreadsheet is not updated. Okay, no, they're not supposed to age up yet, so we'll not do that. But don't worry, they will age up when they are supposed to. <laughs> okay. Now he wants to be best. I'm gonna lock in, ask for homework help. I want did this. Okay. Oh, he can help with homework. Can he not ask for homework help? Apparently not. Well, we'll have to wait with that then. 
Oh, this uh, party is fantastic. <laughs> Everyone is just trampling over each other. Are you still dying? No, you're not dying. Don't die. Okay. Diana, did you get a bottle from someone? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. This is nice. Okay, so Sheila is kissing Matt. Can we see some freckled babies in the future? They're both like he's unplayed and she's a townie, but I can make that work. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Stop! Stop! <laughs> oh dear, okay. What is her? She wants to go to college. Wait, did I say she was 16? Is she 16? Should I lock, lock that in? I'm pretty sure I should. Yes. If she had any homework, I would do it. Well, these two. All right. Okay. She wants to see the ghost of Mary Sue. Well, I don't know how long she's supposed to live for, but... You know, eventually she'll gonna die. I'm so unorganized right now. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going. I'm just trying not to have everyone die. Um, you could you like put Diana in this chair maybe and feed her? Maybe that will help. And it's gonna turn Friday. No, it's gonna turn Saturday. Very soon. I was thinking, do I have to? Uh, do I have beds enough? But yes, I do because I have eight beds, and we can't have more than eight. Who's? Going to die. Uh, Diana is going to. No! What are you doing? Feed her. Well, I guess she needs to sleep. Yeah. Fine. It's going to be fine. <laughs> and go Kisado. Why don't she go pee? If she has to pee, go pee. What is happening? Use. Okay. What, what is <laughs> what is going on? She wants to have a party, and Brooke, she wants to be friends with Omar. So yeah, talk to him, entertain him. I guess stop having a bath during a birthday party. What is happening here? <laughs> oh, he fell asleep in his cake. Oh, we need to take a picture of Lester for uh, the family tree. Is this a good pose, Lester? Do you are you happy with that pose? I don't know. Maybe you are. Maybe you're not. We don't know. Have him. So if I take, I, I just want his head. <laughs> Like so. And Lester Pleasant. Oh, this is the wrong neighborhood. It should be. Is. Which one? Is, is it this one? Absolutely not. This is Blakeburn. Is it this one? Wait, I have them over here. It's this one. I'm gonna put put that there, and then we go to the family tree over here. And where are you? We are trying to find. This is still wrong. Oh, this is <laughs> this is the right one. Where are you? There you are, Lester. Upload.
And I was keeping it a secret, but it's not really secretive anymore. But, you know, Lester, he doesn't know who his real parents are. Like, for all he knows, like, Lilith found him on her doorstep living in the goth mansion and she uh, invited him. Or like she took him in. But like it was obvious that like, he was with Dirk Dreamer, so Lester here knows that yeah, Dirk is not my father. So <laughs> and now he's ended up in the orphanage. I think when he gets out, he will try and get the records, you know, and know who his parents are. I should have a rule for this, like how do... How can they know their parents? Maybe the orphanage just tells them when they turn 18. If anyone knows, I don't know if anyone knows. I think like Lester's father knows, o obviously. Uh, well, not obviously, but he does. <laughs> and maybe he tells him. We'll see about that. All right. Um, he can just be there. Does he have a bed? Yes, he does, I think. Who is this? Amara Freckles. Oh, right. Didn't you go pee? I told you to go pee. <laughs> and we have little Melinda, Melinda Dreamer here, which is also Lilith's uh, child. Uh, Lilith tragically died, so... Melinda lives with her father, Dirk Dreamer, and his new wife, Steffi. It was called Steffi Raymond, I think, or something like that, but now she's Steffi Dreamer. I don't know who to focus on. Steffi is not, still not doing well in school. Alright, okay. Well, that, that is just the way it is. If you're hungry, why don't you have some cake? Who's this? Oh, right. Are they very attracted to each other? No, but a little bit, you know, they had a kiss. We'll see if anyone, anything else happens, but he is busy uh, dancing. Lester, we should put to bed. I don't know which bed is his. Can I just click on one bed and he'll go to the right one? I don't know. Oh dear, you can't be sleeping there. Oh. Oh, he can't he can't sleep in a bed because he's already sleeping. If they're already sleeping and it's one o'clock during the night, I will let them sleep. I think this one belongs to Sheila, so All right, but now Diana is not so tired anymore. Could you like uh, feed Diana? Place Diana in this chair here, and don't die yourself. Oh, well, at this point, I don't really care. Like, she's just the orphanage intended. I can, I could just add another one. <laughs> We have teenagers in here, so they, if she dies, the older children won't t be taken away. So it's fine. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, change your diaper, put her in the chair, give her some food. 
What is wrong with you? What are you doing? Stop holding her. Was that a car? No. No car. I may also have banned the mailman from here, I don't remember. So we don't get any bills. Because I was just cheating the money anyway. This is the orphanage. Give her food. Oh, do you have to go all the way over there to get the food? Alright, okay. Oh, you're sleeping too? Go sleep in a bed. No, oh, relax. Sleep. Did you manage to feed the child? Yes, finally. <laughs> Very good. Now get get yourself some food. S serve breakfast, why not? You can sleep when you're old. Oh, also that reminds me. Call call a nanny because this this is, doesn't work. Well, it was a good party at least. And Mary Sue, could you, could you go away? <sighs> Neb, yes, okay. Yeah, we we need to get rid of Mary Sue. <laughs> Can I wake her up, Nanny? We'll just invite. Uh, just now, and then we could like have a break. What we can't ask her to leave. Well, I'm gonna delete her because she overstayed her welcome. <laughs> that will not like remove her from the game, it will just remove the instance of her uh, that was over here. Oh my goodness, she really needs to take care of herself. All right. But it is a Saturday morning, like technically, in this household. So I am going to save. <laughs> and I'm going to end the stream because I have a laundry to do. But I still wanted to stream a little bit today. And uh, I have done that now. <laughs> so mission accomplished. Um, and let's see if anyone else is playing The Sims 2. Oh look! Our favorite uh, Minosimo. Is that how you pronounce it? Oh he is playing The Sims 2. Oh, my Not with the... with the commercial and stuff. So, but I'm gonna... raid him anyway. there so and until next time have a super duper time and stay safe take care and remember to follow and you know subscribe on youtube supervideo.com is where you can see all the old streams uh, because i think twitch deletes them so i don't also i don't get money from twitch <laughs> and i don't get money from youtube either but i am hoping that someday I will get money. Anyway, uh, have a super duper time. Goodbye. <laughs>